Jose and Fernando Espiricueta are getting ready to celebrate a major milestone together. As they make their way inside UTPA's Student Union Theater, the 52-year-old father and his 31-year-old son say it's hard to believe their dream of getting high school diplomas is finally coming true. They're joined by more than 40 others with similar stories who are also anxiously awaiting their moment of glory. To me, this is a big accomplishment in my life after I'm 52 years old, as you can see, I'm late in life, but better late than ever. I uh, finally got to accomplish something, um, especially with my father. You know, he didn't finish school, I didn't finish school, so we both decided to come back to school, get our GEDs, and do something better in our lives. Life for the Espiricuetas hasn't been easy. The elder left school as a sophomore to help his family harvest crops. Shortly thereafter, he got a job as a trucker in Houston hauling produce, and after six years returned to the valley where he continued driving for a local company. Four years later, he went out on his own and was eventually joined by his son, who had dropped out of high school to get married. Unfortunately, hard labor and tough economic times took its toll, and the Espericueta sold the business. It was time to uh, change my life around and do something for myself, you know, which uh, uh, to me, it's, uh, uh, it was a difficult thing to start, but once I got into it, it just, one thing led to another, and here I am today. With each other to lean on, the Espiricuetas succeeded and proudly accepted their GED certificate on this special day. Although they're not exactly sure what's next, they're both interested in furthering their education. My plans are to uh, go to school two more years. I'm hoping that I can uh, get in and, and into the medical field, and I'm hoping to uh, go in and be a surgical technician. So, you know, it's never too late. Jose hopes his experience will serve as an example to his grandchildren. If I did not have this diploma, it was going to be thrown in my face that I didn't have a diploma. And they were going to say, Grandpa, you didn't, you didn't have one. But now with it, I can you know, emphasize the fact that, hey, it doesn't have to be done late at life. It can be done early in your life. And, and that's one of the reasons I want to pursue uh, a college education so that I can continue to be an example to my grandkids. I'm Sandra Quintanillo reporting for UTPA.